just give me a second. Okay, so the topic of my talk is uh, legal and ethical issues in child professionalism. Actually, I suggested the topic, very specific topic, which is related to uh, the child dancing, the, the participation of children in dance competitions. if you see that uh, many kids nowadays there is a craze rather uh, that uh, many small kids are taking dance uh, classes and dance competitions so there's an increasing trend of these kind of activities and uh, you see on the telephone as well uh, this uh, television as well that you see very, very small kids who are dancing and they are doing acts. And at times they are compromising with their body as well. So I can, I want to highlight one, one case here. In Mumbai, there's a 12 year old girl collapsed on the stage during perform and dies. There's a, there's a case of sudden death. And according to the forensic experts, uh, where the girl's body was sent for postmortem, she suffered no physical injury, no, uh, and had no, no no medical history, nothing else. Diseased uh, name is Anisha Sharma. Lived with his family near uh, in uh, Mumbai. So my, my, I, I, I want to raise one question here. Who is responsible for the death of Anisha Sharma? So this is my concern that who is responsible for the death of this 12 year old uh, innocent girl? The child himself, we can easily say that the child has put himself or herself in this situation in which she is, uh, she suffered this uh, loss. The parents, the parents who put her child in uh, this kind of situation, or the organizers of the event who are motivated by some financial benefits, we can say that sometimes the in instructor, but all of them will deny their involvement. The parents will say, we are not intended to kill our child. The organizers will say that, okay, so she she has willingly participated in the event. The instructor will say that I was the instructor and I don't know what uh, where he, she wanted to participate. The healthcare system, can we label the healthcare system is responsible for the death of Anisha? or any approving agency who approved this sort of event to be held. Somebody have to claim the responsibility, either one of them or all of them. Apart from this tragic incidence, we increasingly see that there are lots of injuries that are suffered during this dance classes or competitions. Professor Damir Sikoliv from Croatia find that 53% of dance reported the occurrence of musculoskeletal injuries. Dancers suffered an, on an average of 0.7372 injuries over the body period giving an injury rate of 208%. So it is now evidence based that because of this dancing, the, the small kids are suffering from injuries. So gender and dance style were not having significant factor. 
high risk of injuries are evident in older and more experienced dancers this is this is another uh, special finding by them. and he very well uh, explained all the prevalences in various uh, mus uh, prevalence of the musculoskeletal injuries in uh, rural urban and uh, rock and roll um, um, children so we can see that the 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 there's an increased prevalence of uh, these kind of injuries uh, in dance or in the, in the in the children who are going for dance and again one more graph showing so this is just to show this graph i my intention is to just show you that this is not a hypothesis that uh, the injury rate is increased so various types of injuries that are suffered are listed like ankle sprain achilles tendonitis these are the sort of injuries that are usually suffered by these participants hazardous child labor so i consider it as a hazardous child labor uh, because it 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 is it is fitting into the category of hazardous work many times the steps in during the dance are are very complicated child abuse as my colleagues have already explained is the physical sexual and emotional so this is a form of physical abuse rather and i can label it easily as a child labor so forcing the child for dancing is a kind of child labor maybe the parents are sometimes involved in it and nobody cares about the child sufferings the child may have physical injuries that is evidence based there may be permanent musculoskeletal changes because of increased muscular activity in the child rapid change in the behavior the child becomes behaving like an adult maybe psychologically because he is now a responsible child rather the, the tenderness of his childhood is compromised depression may be there social recognition and boycott may be there because social recognition because of uh, the uh, rewarding performances and boycott if the uh, child loses the competition and of course it it has a bad impact on the studies as well as there is poor performance of child in the schools some factors that are promoting the child abuse uh, this kind of child abuse are financial benefits of the patients and the organizer both the parents as well as the organizers have financial benefits with these types of competition glamour and fame so many times it is a very glamorous life you if you see the uh, child uh, shows in the tv it is very glamorous there are lots of attractive advertisement organizers of of the competition promote and uh, shows this as as a is as a skill that 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 there must be in a child parents sometimes believe that it's a shortcut to success or easy money lack of understanding by child as as a result of age and times the child is not able to understand what uh, what is going on with him and what is happening with him he is just doing something good act for his parents and the parents may sometimes sees that he is he or she is the one who will always follow the guidelines given by the parents so it, it's a kind of ethical dilemma and the uh, dilemma and there is a violation of child rights child rights that are violated in this condition as per UNICEF, uh, 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 this UNICEF that 
best interest of the child. So the best interest of the child is compromised in this condition. Respect for child's view. So we, we least bothered about asking the child what is his views and, and we are least bothered whether the child want to do this competition or not. Freedom of thought is compromised. The child is, is forced to think about it. Protection of privacy. So privacy is also compromised because these competitions are usually performed in public. Children with disabilities, so sometimes they are used in the, in the dance competition and uh, not only used, they, 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 are, they, they are more attractive and glamorous for the dance shows. Rest, play, culture and arts, these are, and protection from harmful work. So this right of the child is also being compromised here. And sometimes the sexual abuse are also seen in, in these situations. So this is basically an issue that is to be raised that uh, the increased prevalence of dance and glamour associated with it, the child's, the children are also suffered by that. So with this note, I can leave this uh, to you to think over it and the references are there.